it's six marks. In accordance with IAS 37 provisions, contingency, blah, 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 advise the directors of UNCOSO on the appropriate accounting treatment of the above in the financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2019. Advise. So you're going to write some English. Then you do some calculation and then look at the financials. Nkoso Limited, Nkoso, is an agro processing company which reports under international financial reporting standards up to 31st December each year. So that's the year ended. On 10th October 2019, that's very important. 10th October 2019. Remember, our year ended is 31st December. So on 10th October 2019, Nkoso recognized a Christmas party at the company's head office in Accra. Unfortunately, there was an incident of food poisoning and the company has received 500 legal claims from victims of the food poisoning, seeking compensation of an average of 5,000 Ghana cities each. A letter from Nkoso's legal advisor dated 10th December 2019 suggests 40% of these claims are likely to be successful. If it was one case, we would have just disclosed it in the notes as a contingent liability. But because there are 500 legal claims and 200 of that, it's very significant. Hence, we have to provide for it in the books. So that is the issue here. So by default, anchor. We would have disclosed it in the note, but because of the enormity, the size of the item, we'll provide for it. Continue. The accountant of Inkoso does not want to make any provision for this claim on the grounds that less than 50% of the claim are likely to be successful. The legal advisors have suggested that an average of two years from the end of the current reporting period will elapse before the claims are settled. And the Enyam <laughs> the risk related discount rate is estimated to be 10%. So look at it. The estimated discount rate is 10%. So let's go Nkoso Limited or Nkoso Limited. It can be Nkoso. So Nkoso, whatever the heck. So let's look at it. Remember when they organized the party on 1st October 2019. So that was not when the liability became due. Isn't it? The liability became due on 10th December. The reason I'm emphasizing on that is that so that you know the subsequent measurement or the subsequent treatment of the item. So for the year ended 31st December, we are going to be calculating the initial measurement of the liability. So we go, what we got? 500 cases. 40% successful, everybody 5,000, then we bring in the discount factor. 500, 40% of that, 5,000 Ghana cities, discount factor one plus, what is the rate there? 10%. So that would be 1.1 exponent two. Can I have an answer? Yes, yeah. We have Ma. 826446.28. Four, like this? Yes. Okay. Somebody confirming that. So that's all. So at 31st December 20, whatever the heck, 19, and now yeah. 31st December 2019, double entry would debit profit or loss. That's an expenses, if you remember. Now, this is not asset related provision, right? <laughs> it's a non asset related provision. That's why it will go to the PL account, 826. 446, then we'll credit provisions 826446. And it will go under non current liability on the face of the statement of financial position. Why? Because it will be payable in two years. That is the answer to the question.